We need to update my iPad because she is just very outdated, unorganized, very crazy. The widgets that I originally used have all gone because they are no longer compatible with this iPad. We need to give her a makeover, a revamp. So let's get into it. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Shelly and I like to upload a lot of vlog slash lifestyle type of videos, but every now and then I like to do a random video like this one today where I'm organizing the iPad. I also have two cute cocktails, so if you like today's video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down below. Without further ado, let's get into organizing. <laughs> iPad video, that's okay. I'll quickly go through the specs of what I have here. This is the iPad Pro 11 inch. I think it's the 2001, 2001, wow. 2021 version, so two years old. She's doing well. I got the color silver and I usually have this magnetic case on it, but it is actually really, really dirty. So I'm kind of embarrassed by it. Like, oh, she's nasty. Okay, this is 256 gigabytes. It's almost full. So I've got to go through all my documents, all my storage and kind of maintain that a little bit more. Let's get into organizing my iPad. But first, I need a coffee, badly. Alright, I've basically removed every app that I don't really use anymore and I've just I've just put all the apps onto my home screen and now I'm going to start customizing. A few moments later. Okay, so my iPad has decided to do an update right now. So we're just waiting for it to update. It's probably going to take like half an hour because it's... Oh, it literally just... Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna continue organizing my iPad. So this is so boring right now, I can't deal. So I'm going to go on a Pinterest and just look up some home screen ideas just to kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. So like, this is super cute. I love this. This one is super cute as well. Oh, I actually love that so much. I'm gonna create a board just for iPad so I can put some ideas together and hopefully create something really, really cool. This is also super cute i'm really feeling flowers at the moment i don't know why really obsessed with flowers and like leaf shadows i don't really i don't really know like, this is super cute i love this so much <laughs> to do. I spent way too long on this iPad. So I'm gonna quickly take you through a tour of the finished product. She's looking cute. A little bit better than before, like still the same green, but a lot better. Alright, so let me take you through the new and improved aesthetic update. Like, it already looks so much better than what it was. Okay, so this is our lock screen. It's the same as before. It's a vision board of all my goals that I want to kick this year, especially this one right here. 50,000 subscribers. Subscribe down below. If you guys would like a full video on me explaining everything about this vision board, how I put it together, everything, you can pop up here and watch the full video. I definitely recommend. It is a lot of fun. But for now, let's get into the iPad tour. So this is is my new and improved iPad aesthetic. I love the green. Can you tell I'm obsessed with green? I don't think you can. It makes everything look so fresh and I am just absolutely obsessed. So before we get started on everything here, I'm just going to swipe to the left here and tell you guys about my little widgets on whatever this screen is called. I don't know what it's called. Let's grab my $200 freaking pen i can't believe this so first up we've got the spotify widget that leads me to my absolute favorite album i love limes and if you don't know me by now i love lime cordial and this is just a full album of all my favorite songs i just changed the image on spotify to some limes you know lime cordial and limes it's anyway i've gone ahead and actually styled all of my spotify playlists because i am that girl so that's my spotify widget to my favorite 
playlist ever. I love lime. Second, we've got a Pinterest board that gives me a new quote every hour and it's dedicated to one of the boards that I have on Pinterest. If you guys want to go ahead and find it for yourself. Why am I holding the pen like this? I am right-handed by the way. What am I doing? But yeah, that gives me a quote every hour. We love it. Then I've got an app called Flip Clock and it is purely just for this little widget here. I don't use it anywhere else except for here. And there's all these different customization options with this but I like the white a lot better it just suits the green I suppose I don't really know I really like green and white together it just tickles my fancy but if you click into it it's going to give you an ad there's all these little cool features on this app so you can set a focus timer this is for 25 minutes so if I want to focus on something I will just set this timer and go there's also just the regular clock with the seconds with a little quote I don't know where that came from but Less is more, I guess. And then there's also a count up and a countdown, which is pretty groovy. So I thought that was cool, but for now I've just got it as the clock because I really like how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. And then we've got a little widget here from the app I am. And basically it gives me a affirmation every hour, I'm pretty certain. I don't know, it changes quite quickly. I don't actually know if it's an hour, but anyway. So cute. Oh, we got an ad. There's a lot of ads here because I do not like to pay for things. You do have a lot of customization on the free version, but you do have to watch a lot of ads. So you just go down to this little paintbrush tool so you just press edit and then play around with everything but i'm not going to do that otherwise i'm gonna have to watch an ad and i cannot be bothered just change the font i changed the color to white and i made the background the same color as my background here so it looks transparent but it's not actually so i thought that was groovy i love a little affirmation this one says i am strong enough to rise above my negative thoughts oh well, yeah we love that the main page which is even more green so gorgeous let's talk about it here we have another clock widget i know the clock is up there but i just really like to have it here. So yeah, that's through the app Widget Smith, which is super groovy. And I did go into a lot of detail about this app in my last iPad video, but I'll quickly run you through here. You can have all these different widgets from small, medium, large to extra large. And it's super cool. There's so many different options. So for example, you can have a picture, the calendar, the date and time. You can have the weather, like you can have a lot of different options, the battery percentage, whatever you want. It's so cool. And I just changed the font and the color once again to match the background. So it appears transparent, but it's not actually. And then we've got the calendar. Calendar. I just really like seeing the day in front of me because I tend to not know what day it is like ever but I'm just really forgetful like that so it's good to have the day right in front of me even though it's up here I'm not looking at that that's too small I also like to see the calendar right in front of me it kind of gives me an idea of like what my month is going to look like so yeah that's the same in widget smith you can um create little calendars and things like that it's really cool that's the affirmation widget again I just thought I needed two affirmations at once because I am that girl obviously like I'm just trying to get affirmationed up like obviously I just need it I need a drink. I'm dying. Now this little list is super groovy. I only discovered it today actually. Otherwise I've just been using my notes app, but this was really, really cool. I liked it a lot better. This is called minimalist. <laughs> get it because minimal lit anyway you can just write a list that's the yeah. so it's really groovy you can cross off things that you've done so walk 10,000 steps I have absolutely done that today um and you just double click on it again to uncross it because we have actually not done that you can also set timers so make chop for the beans 25 minutes let's go and you've got like little sounds to choose from the style, like how you want the countdown to look. It's really sweet and really minimal and that's what I really like. So it attracted me more than the notes app. Like I love the notes app, but this right here was just calling my name. I just love having that right there. It gives me a lot of motivation to tick off that list. So I love that being there. I want to complete every single one of them and I haven't yet. So after this video, I'm going to walk 10,000 steps. Wish me luck. I struggle with motivation and procrastination. So having this here right in front of me is going to be good. And I work on my iPad a lot. So I'm going to see that. And then we've just got three Three widgets from Widget Smith. I've got a large one, and that is actually my vision board from my lock screen. Ta da! Oh, it's full 20. <laughs> It's just a smaller version to, once again, continue to give me motivation to smash my goals. And then we've got just two little photos that I thought matched the whole aesthetic. Like I love vases and I love tulips. So yeah, I thought that just kind of matched it all together. It looks really pretty and I like pretty things. I assume a lot of you watching this video right now is like all about the aesthetic and that's why you're here. Otherwise I shouldn't have to explain myself anyway. And then I've just got my four most used widgets. Although I know that I just downloaded Minimalist today, but it's going to be my most used because I love lists. So I've got Spotify here. I actually changed the icon because I found that you could do that through the shortcuts. Why can I not? Through the shortcuts app. And I'll quickly show you how to do that if you guys are curious. But I did that with the Spotify and Pinterest app and I really like it. You know, look how cute that is. I freaking love that. So what you want to do is you want to go into shortcuts. In my shortcuts, you want to press the plus. Um, what do you do from here? I forgot. And then you want to search for the app open app. 
this one here. So now we've got that, we wanna click on the app and select which app we're going to change. So for example, we had Clip Studio there and we wanna click the square with the arrow coming out of it. I don't know what that's called, but we're just gonna click that. And then we're going to add to home screen. That's gonna add the shortcut to your home screen. And this is where you can change the title and the icon. So I don't want a title, I want it nice and clean. And you just click this square, choose photo, and let's make it this little quote here. And you add it, bam. It's down there. And I actually like the Clip Studio logo. I don't mind it, so I don't need that shortcut. But anyway, that's how you do it. It's so simple, super easy, and I freaking love that. Are you kidding me? How did I only find out about that today? It just takes you to my Spotify. And that takes me to Pinterest. It's just so groovy. If you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, by the way, you totally can. It is just Seychelles, and I just post a bunch of random stuff. And I have really cute boards, like, go check them out. And then we've got Clip Studio Paint, of course. This is my art program that I use to create my graphics, my thumbnails, all the art stuff. It's just the one that I'm familiar with. I think you have to pay for it, but, you know, it's the one that I've been using for years, so that is what I'm using. Um, and then yeah, we've got minimalist, but we already know what that is. So we've got Safari, we've got my photos, which I have to clean out by the way. Like it is just full of like old thumbnails, old YouTube files, like it is clogged up in there and I need to clean it out, which I'm gonna do after this, but it is terrifying in there daunting. I've just got two little folders just to put all the random apps in because I don't really know where to put them and I wanted my homepage to appear as clean as possible. I just love minimal, okay? I just, I don't have an excuse. I just really like minimal stuff. So I've got in the first folder here all of my kind of arty slash photo and video stuff. Uh, Procreate, I don't actually use, that's a lie. Uh, but Lightroom, Visco, Photogrid and Fonto, I use all the time and then the others I just sometimes use them. I don't really know. Oh, I've got a hand cramp. Oh my god. Ouch. And then the other folder here is just all the random stuff I didn't really know what to do with. And yeah, that is what is on my iPad Pro. I love that I've found myself in bed now. I, I wasn't supposed to be filming this in bed, but I'm in bed. But yeah, that is what is on my iPad Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that I kind of clarified how to do stuff. If not, let me know down below and I'll try my best to explain. Or check out my old iPad video. I'll pop it up here because I do seem to go a bit more in depth in that video. Whereas here, I'm just kind of like, look at my aesthetics. 